Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to program the all new uh, TELUS remote. As you can see, this is what the new one looks like. The old one looked like this. Problem is after having my niece around and some other stuff, just slowly the buttons have worn out, you know, food, water, everything's been dropped on these things, and the remote's finally dead. So I had to message up TELUS and uh, pick up a new one. So this is the new TELUS remote. Now instantly I can tell you right off the bat what sucks is uh, they've got this mode key. You can no longer select uh, you know TV and aux and stuff. You have to actually press mode and if you look it blinks through the different options. Now don't worry um, you can bypass like not bypass that but if when you program a TV it will let you control the TV volume if you program the receiver, it automatically bypasses the TV volume and uses the receiver volume. Alright, so, as you can see with this old one, what we had was, we had uh, the TELUS, then we had TV, then we had DVD, and we had an AUX. So, when you're programming this one, it's actually much easier than the old, older one. I uh, have my TV already underlined here but this is what you're going to want to do go find out what your TV brand is um, as you can see it's a lot less too you're going to have to basically go through here say okay like I did alright I have an LG you're going to need that number later on now you're going to have to make a choice if you have a DVD player and a receiver you have to choose which one you want because there's only one aux on this remote there's no DVD button or a receiver button you know or is it an aux so you get to choose two of these I have an amplifier which I'd rather control the volume so I chose to do my Pioneer receiver. So let's show you how to program it. So first thing you're going to want to do is probably program your TV. So I'm going to put the TV so it's in sight and try and put the remote in sight so you can see what we're going to be doing here. Actually I can just do this. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the option you want to program. So as you can see just blink TV for me. I'll go through just so you can see it again. See how it's on the TV? All right. Now you hold on to the mode key and wait for the TV to blink twice. Like that. Now you have to put that number in for your TV. So we'll say 15. Since mine's, see how it blinked twice? Now you hit the power button until your TV turns off. Mine is the first code. But if yours isn't, just hold on to it until your TV turns off. At that point, press OK. As you can see, that blinked and it's now saved it. Now let's make sure it's saved. Press power. TV turns on. Yep, we're good. Basically, same thing for the receiver. All you're going to do is go to mode. As you can see, it's now on auxiliary. Hold the mode button. Just blink twice. And then 68 is for the Pioneer receiver. So press 68 blinks, I hit power, oh, first code, so that's the one that I want to get rid of. I mean, that's the one that I want, so press OK. As you see, blinks twice, it's now saved. I press power, receiver turns back on. After that, you should see everything boot up again, and we're all programmed. If you press mode now and you go to Optic TV, if I was on Optic TV, it would be right now, it would be controlling volume. Probably can't see it, but my volume is going up on the receiver just by me doing this. And then if I had, uh, if I was on Optic TV, I would be changing that. Now let's see if I can switch. Probably not. No, that's just trying to switch that. If I go to mode, I might be able to switch my receiver's input. No. Okay. Well. At least I have the volume from the receiver. Like I said, this remote's very limiting. How the other remotes used to come with big booklets, this thing only comes with a small one. And uh, you're kind of at its mercy for what you get to control. So, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. As you can see, since I've put it on the TV mode now, it's let me select that. Turn the TV volume all the way down. Press mode. Go to receiver. It'll let me control receiver volume. If I press mode again, it's on optic. It should, yeah, 
it automatically lets me do that. And then if I had channels, it'd let me switch the channels for optic. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's all there is to this one. There isn't a lot of programming techniques I can show. Um, if you have this older remote and you still have a good one, I would suggest keeping it and reprogramming this one for all your devices. Uh, it, I do another video on how to program this one and uh, I found this one to be a lot more customizable I mean you can't learn commands from other remotes with it but it allows you to program more to it and allows you to choose which device you control volume to you can also choose which devices you want the power turn off to shut off like this one I think if I click power right now it might turn just the TV and the other off let's see see it left the receiver on so I have to go mode and select aux and turn that off because looking at this there is no way to actually tell it to send a power off command to your receiver so you have to actually go through the mode and then turn it off but oh well at least the remote looks kind of nice tell you the truth if you are looking at a remote that does absolutely everything you should probably be looking at a harmony remote um, i'll probably be picking up one of those soon just haven't right now because I've been so busy with the car and I'm barely actually ever watching TV. I've just been, yeah, busy with it. But I hope this video helps you like or helps you out. Be sure to like the video if it helps you out. And um, other than that, subscribe if you're interested in other content that I'm doing. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.